Filipino Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Filipino cuisine is composed of the cuisines of 144 distinct ethno-linguistic groups found within the Philippine archipelago, however, majority of mainstream Filipino dishes that compose Filipino cuisine are from the cuisines of the Baikal, Chabacano, Hiligonon, Ilocano, Kapampangan, Morena, Pangasinan, Spuano, Tagalog, and Warai ethno-linguistic tribes. The style of cooking and the food associated with it have evolved over many centuries from their Austronesian origins to a mixed cuisine of Indian, Chinese, Spanish, and American influences, in line with the major waves of influence that had enriched the cultures of the archipelago, as well as others adapted to indigenous ingredients and the local palate. History and Influences Dishes range from the very simple, like a meal of fried salted fish and rice, to the complex paellas and casados created for fiestas of Spanish origin. Popular dishes include, lechon, longanisa, tapa, torta, adobo, caldirta, mecadu, pukiro, afritada, care care. Pinakbit, Crispy Pata, Haymanado, Sinagang, Pancit, and Lumpia. During the pre-Hispanic era in the Philippines, the preferred Austronesian methods for food preparation were boiling, steaming, and roasting. The ingredients for common dishes were obtained from locally raised livestock. These ranged from kalaba, baka, monok, and baboy to various kinds of fish and seafood. In 3200 BCE, Austronesians from the southern China and Taiwan settled in the region that is now called the Philippines. They brought with them knowledge of rice cultivation and other farming practices which increased the number and variety of edible dish ingredients available for cooking. Characteristics Direct trade and cultural exchange with Hokkien China in the Philippines in the Song dynasty with porcelain, ceramics, and silk being traded for spices and trepang in Luzon. This early cultural contact with China introduced a number of staple food into Philippine cuisine, most notably toyo, tokwe, tuj, and patties as well as the method of stir-frying and making savory soup bases. Many of these food items and dishes retained their original Hokkien names, such as pancit, and lumpia. The Chinese food introduced during this period were food of the workers and traders, which became a staple of the noodle shops, and can be seen in dishes like arroz caldo, sanangig, chop suey. Common Dishes Trade with the various neighboring kingdoms of Malacca and Srivahia in Malaya and Java brought with it foods and cooking methods which are still commonly used in the Philippines today, such as bagu, patties, puso, rendang, care care, and the infusion of coconut milk in condiments, such as lang and janatong monok. Through the trade with the Malay, Indonesian kingdoms, Cuisine from as far away as India and Arabia enriched the palates of the local Austronesians. These foods include various dishes eaten in areas of the southern part of the archipelago today, such as kurma, sati, and biryani, as well as puto, which specifically derives from Indian cuisine putu. Breakfast Spanish colonizers and friars in the 16th century brought with them produce from the Americas like chili peppers, tomatoes, corn, potatoes, and the method of sautéing with garlic and onions. Chili leaves are frequently used as a cooking green. Spanish dishes were eventually incorporated into Philippine cuisine with the more complex dishes usually being prepared for special occasions. Some dishes such as arroz a la valenciana remain largely the same in the Philippine context. Some have been adapted or have come to take on a slightly or significantly different meaning. 
Arroz a la Cubana served in the Philippines usually includes ground beef picadillo. Philippine longaniza despite its name is more akin to chorizo than Spanish longaniza. Morcan is likely to refer to a beef roulade dish not the bulbous specialty Spanish sausage. Merienda Today, Philippine cuisine continues to evolve as new techniques, styles of cooking, and ingredients find their way into the country. Traditional dishes both simple and elaborate, indigenous and foreign-influenced, are seen as are more current popular international viands and fast food fare. However, the Filipino diet is higher in total fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol than other Asian diets. Pulutan Filipino cuisine centers around the combination of sweet, sour, and salty, although in Baikal, the Cordilleras, and among Muslim Filipinos, spicy is a base of cooking flavor. Counterpoint is a feature in Philippine cuisine which normally comes in a pairing of something sweet with something salty, and results in surprisingly pleasing combinations. Examples include, Champarado, being paired with tuyo, dinuguan, paired with puto, unripe fruits such as mangoes, are eaten dipped in salt or bagu, the use of cheese and sweet cakes, as well as an ice cream flavoring. Bread and Pastries Fiesta Food Regional Specialties Luzonesa Cuisine Vinegar is a common ingredient. Adobo is popular not solely for its simplicity and ease of preparation, but also for its ability to be stored for days without spoiling, and even improve in flavor with a day or two of storage. Tinapa is a smoke-cured fish while tuyo, dang, and danjit are corned, sun-dried fish popular because they can last for weeks without spoiling, even without refrigeration. Cooking and eating in the Philippines has traditionally been an informal and communal affair centered around the family kitchen. Filipinos traditionally eat three main meals a day, agahan or almusal, tanghalian, and hapunan plus an afternoon snack called merienda. Snacking is normal. Dinner, while still the main meal, is smaller than other countries. Usually, Either breakfast or lunch is the largest meal. Food tends to be served all at once and not in courses. Unlike many of their Asian counterparts Filipinos do not eat with chopsticks. Due to Western influence, food is often eaten using flatware forks, knives, spoons but the primary pairing of utensils used at a Filipino dining table is that of spoon and fork not knife and fork. The traditional way of eating is with the hands, especially dry dishes such as iniha or prito. The diner will take a bite of the main dish, then eat rice pressed together with his fingers. This practice, known as kamayan, is rarely seen in urbanized areas. However, Filipinos tend to feel the spirit of Kamayan when eating amidst nature during out-of-town trips, beach vacations, and town fiestas. As in most Asian countries, the staple food in the Philippines is rice. It is most often steamed and always served with meat, fish, and vegetable dishes. Leftover rice is often fried with garlic to make sanangig which is usually served at breakfast together with a fried egg and cured meat or sausages. Rice is often enjoyed with the sauce or broth from the main dishes. In some regions, rice is mixed with salt, condensed milk, cocoa, or coffee. Rice flour is used in making sweets, cakes and other pastries. Sticky rice with cocoa also called champarado is also a common dish served with tuyo or dried herring. A variety of fruits and vegetables is often used in cooking. Bananas, calamansi, 
guavas, mangoes, papayas, and pineapples lend a distinctly tropical flair in many dishes, but mainstay green leafy vegetables like water spinach, Chinese cabbage, napa cabbage, cabbage, and other vegetables like eggplants and yard-long beans are just as commonly used. Coconuts are ubiquitous. Coconut meat is often used in desserts, coconut milk in sauces, and coconut oil for frying. Abundant harvests of root crops like potatoes, carrots, taro, cassava, purple yam, and sweet potato make them readily available. The combination of tomatoes, garlic, and onions is found in many dishes. Meat staples include chicken, pork, beef, and fish. Seafood is popular as a result of the bodies of water surrounding the archipelago. Popular catches include tilapia, catfish, milkfish, grouper, shrimp, prawns, mackerel, swordfish, oysters, mussels, clams, large and small crabs, game fish, sable fish, tuna, cod, blue marlin, and squid slash cuttlefish. Also popular are seaweeds, abalone, and eel. The most common way of having fish is to have it salted, pan-fried or deep-fried, and then eaten as a simple meal with rice and vegetables. It may also be cooked in a sour broth of tomatoes or tamarind as in pongat, prepared with vegetables and a souring agent to make sinigang, simmered in vinegar and peppers to make paxi, or roasted over hot charcoal. Or wood. Other preparations include escabeche, relino, or quinoa. Fish can be preserved by being smoked or sun-dried. Food is often served with various dipping sauces. Fried food is often dipped in vinegar, soy sauce, juice squeezed from calamansi, or a combination of two or all. Patties may be mixed with calamansi as dipping sauce for most seafood. Fish sauce, fish paste, shrimp paste, and crushed ginger root are condiments that are often added to dishes during the cooking process or when served. A traditional Filipino breakfast might include pandesal, kesong puti champarado, sanangag, and meat such as tapa, longanisa, tocino, carne norte, or fish such as dang na bangus or itlog na pula. Coffee is also commonly served particularly Kapang Barako, a variety of coffee produced in the mountains of Batangas noted for having a strong flavor. Certain portmanteaus in Filipino have come into use to describe popular combinations of items in a Filipino breakfast. An example of such a combination order is Kang Kamtu, an order of gone in, Kem Atis and Tayo. Another is Tapsi, an order of T.A. Pa and S.I. Nangig. Other examples include variations using a silag suffix, usually some kind of meat served with S.I. Nangig and it log. The three most commonly seen silags are Tapsi log, Toslug, and Longs I log. Other silags include Hots I log. Bangs I log, Dangs I log, Spams I log, Adus I log, Chas I log, Cheeks I log, Corns I log, and Lits I log. Pankaplog is a slang term referring to a breakfast consisting of pandasal, kapi, and it log. An establishment that specializes in such meals is called a tapsihan or tapsalugan. Merienda is taken from the Spanish and is a light meal or snack especially in the afternoon, similar to the concept of afternoon tea. If the meal is taken close to dinner, it is called merienda cena, and may be served instead of dinner. Filipinos have a number of options to take with kapi, which is the Filipino pronunciation of cafe, breads and pastries like pandasal, ensamita, hapia and empanada. Also popular are kakanan, 
or traditional pastries made from sticky rice like kutsan tat, sapan sapan, palata, biko, suman, bibinka, and pitsi pitsi. Savory dishes often eaten during merienda include pancit canton, palabak, tokwe tea baboy, and dinugwan, which is often served with puto. Dim sum and dumplings, brought to the islands by Fujianese migrants, have been given a Filipino touch and are also popular merienda fare. Street food, such as squid balls and fish balls, are often skewered on bamboo sticks and consumed with soy sauce and the sour juice of the kalamondan as condiments. Pulutan is a term roughly analogous to the English term finger food or Spanish tapas. Originally, it was a snack accompanied with liquor or beer but has found its way into Philippine cuisine as appetizers or, in some cases, main dishes, as in the case of sisig. Deep-fried pulutan include shisharan, pork rinds that have been boiled and then twice fried, the second frying gives the crunchiness and golden color, chicharong bituka, pig intestines that have been deep-fried to a crisp, chicharong bulaklak, similar to chicharong bituka it is made from mesenteries of pig intestines and has an appearance roughly resembling a flower, hence the bulaklak name and chicharong monok, chicken skin that has been deep fried until crisp. Examples of grilled foods include, isa or chicken or pig intestines skewered and then grilled, iniha na tenga, pig ears that have been skewered and then grilled, pork barbecue, skewered pork marinated in a sweet soy garlic blend and then grilled, betamax, Salted solidified pork or chicken blood which is then skewered and lightly grilled, Adidas which is grilled or sautéed chicken feet. There is also sisig, a popular pulutan made from the pig's cheek skin, ears and liver that is initially boiled, then charcoal grilled and afterwards minced and cooked with chopped onions, chilies and spices. Smaller snacks such as mani are often sold steamed in the shell, salted, spiced or flavored with garlic by street vendors in the Philippines. Another snack is krupek, which is fish crackers. Tokwe tea baboy is fried tofu with boiled pork marinated in a garlic-flavored soy sauce or vinegar dip. It is also served as a side dish to pancit luglug or pancit palabak. You can also find tuhog tuhog accompanied by sweet or spicy sauce. This include fish balls, kikayam, squid balls etc. These are commonly served during a small gathering or in local bars. In a typical Filipino bakery, pandasal, mona and ensamada are often sold. Pandasal comes from the Spanish pandasal and is a ubiquitous breakfast fare, normally eaten with coffee. It typically takes the form of a bread roll, and is usually baked covered in bread crumbs. Contrary to what its name implies, pandasal is not particularly salty as very little salt is used in baking it. Monai is a firmer slightly denser heavier bread. Ensamada, from the Spanish ensamada is a pastry made using butter and often topped with sugar and shredded cheese that is especially popular during Christmas. It is sometimes made with fillings such as ube and macapuno. Also commonly sold in Filipino bakeries is pan de coco, a sweet roll filled with shredded coconut mixed with molasses. Putok, which literally means explode, refers to a small, hard bread roll whose cratered surface is glazed with sugar. Kababayan is a small, sweet gong-shaped muffin that has a moist consistency. Spanish bread refers to a rolled pastry which looks like a croissant prior to being given a crescent shape, and has a filling consisting of sugar and butter. There are also rolls like pianono, which is a chiffon roll flavored with different fillings. 
Brazo de Mercedes, a rolled cake or jelly roll, is made from a sheet of meringue rolled around a custard filling. Similar to the previous dessert, it takes on a layered presentation instead of being rolled and typically features caramelized sugar and nuts for sans rival. Silvanas are large, oval-shaped, cookie-sized desserts, with a thin meringue on either side of a buttercream filling and dusted with crumbed cookies. Not overly sweet, they are rich, crisp, chewy, and buttery all at the same time. Barquillos use sweet thin crunchy wafers rolled into tubes that can be sold hollow or filled with pulverin. Meringues are also present in the Philippines, due to the Spanish influence, but they are called merengue with all the vowels pronounced. Leche flan is a type of caramel. Custard made with eggs and milk similar to the French cream caramel. Leche flan is a heavier version of the Spanish flan made with condensed milk and more egg yolks. Leche flan is usually steamed over an open flame or stove top, although on rare occasions it can also be seen baked. Leche flan is a staple in celebratory feasts. Visayan Cuisine A heavier version of leche flan, Tocino del Cielo, is similar but has significantly more egg yolks and sugar. The egg pie with a very rich egg custard filling is a mainstay in local bakeries. It is typically baked so that the exposed custard on top is browned. Buco pie is made with a filling made from young coconut meat and dairy. Many pastries like Turanese de Kasui are made up of cashew marzipan wrapped with a wafer made to resemble a candy wrapper but take on a miniature look of a pie in a size of about a quarter. There is also Napoleon's again with all the vowels pronounced a milfoy pastry stuffed with a sweet milk-based filling. There are hard pastries like biscotso a crunchy, sweet, twice-baked bread. Another baked goodie is sinipit which is a sweet pastry covered in a crunchy sugar glaze, made to resemble a length of rope. Similar to sinipit is a snack eaten on roadsides colloquially called shingaling. It is hollow but crunchy with a salty flavor. For a softer treat there is mamon a chiffon type cake sprinkled with sugar, its name derived from a slang Spanish term for breast. There's also crema de fruta, which is an elaborate sponge cake topped in succeeding layers of cream, custard, candied fruit, and gelatin. Similar to a sponge cake is mamoncillo which generally refers to slices taken from a large mamon cake, but it is unrelated to the fruit of the same name. Sandwich pastries like anipet are made with two thin layers of chiffon sandwiching a filling of custard that is topped with butter and sugar. Another mamon variant is mamon tostada, basically mamon silo toasted to a crunchy texture. Stuffed pastries that reflect both western and eastern influence are common. One can find empanadas a turnover type pastry filled with a savory sweet meat filling. Typically filled with ground meat and raisins, it can be deep fried or baked. Sia Peo is the local version of Chinese Baozi. Buchi is another snack that is likely of Chinese origin. Bite sized, Buchi is made of deep fried dough balls filled with a sweet mung bean paste, and coated on the outside with sesame seeds. Some variants also have ube as the filling. There are also many varieties of the mooncake like hopia, which come in different shapes, and have different textures and fillings. For festive occasions, people band together and prepare more sophisticated dishes. Tables are often laden with expensive and labor-intensive treats requiring hours of preparation. In Filipino celebrations, lechon serves as the centerpiece of the dinner table. It is usually a whole roasted pig, but suckling pigs or cattle calves can also be prepared in place of the popular adult pig. 
It is typically served with lechon sauce, which is traditionally made from the roasted pig's liver. Other dishes include hamanado, relino, mekadu, afritada, caldirda, pukiro, paella, menudo, morcan, embutido, suman, and pancit canton. The table may also be have various sweets and pastries such as leche flan, ubet, sapin sapin, sorbets, totong, janatan, and gulaman. Christmas Eve known as Noche Buena, is the most important feast. During this evening, the star of the table is the Christmas ham and Edam cheese. Supermarkets are laden with these treats during the Christmas season and are popular giveaways by Filipino companies in addition to red wine, brandy, groceries, or pastries. Available mostly during the Christmas season and sold in front of churches along with Bibingka. Puto Bumbong is a purple yam-flavored puto. Mindana One Cuisine More common at celebrations than in everyday home meals, Lumpiang Sariwa, or Fresh Lumpia, is a fresh spring roll that consists of a soft crepe wrapped around a filling that can include strips of camote, singkamas, bean sprouts, green beans, cabbage, carrots and meat. It can be served warm or cold and typically with a sweet peanut and garlic sauce. Yukoi is shredded papaya combined with small shrimp and fried to make shrimp patties. It is often eaten with vinegar seasoned with garlic, salt, and pepper. Both Lumpiang Sariwa and Yukoi are often served together in Filipino parties. Lumpiang Sariwa has Chinese origins, having been derived from Popia. Main Dishes Side Dishes and Compliments Desserts Street Food and Other Snacks Exotic Dishes The Philippine Islands are home to various ethnic groups resulting in varied regional cuisines. Cooking Methods Ilocanos, from the rugged Ilocos region boast of a diet heavy in boiled or steamed vegetables and fresh water fish, but they are particularly fond of dishes flavored with bagu, fermented fish that is often used instead of salt. Ilocanos often season boiled vegetables with bagu monomen to produce pinakbit. Local specialties include the soft white larvae of ants and jumping salad of tiny live shrimp. The Igorot prefer roasted meats, particularly carabao meat, goat meat, and venison. Native Ingredients Due to its mild, subtropical climate, Baguio, along with the outlying mountainous regions, is renowned for its produce. Temperate zone fruits and vegetables which would otherwise wilt in lower regions are grown there. It is also known for a snack called sundot kulangat which literally means poke the booger. It's actually a sticky kind of sweet made from milled glutinous rice flour mixed with molasses, and served inside pitago shells, and with a stick to poke its sticky substance with. Isabella is known for pancit kabagan of kabagan. Inatata and Binalay of Alagan City are rice cakes prepared year-round in the city and both famous delicacies especially during the Lenten season. Cagayan for its famous Carabao milk candy in the town Alcala and Tagigarao City for Pancit Batil Patung and Buka Roll. Beverages The town of Kalejao in Pangasinan is known for its puto, a type of steamed rice cake. Kapampangan cuisine makes use of all the produce in the region available to the native cook. Among the treats produced in Pampanga are longanisa, caldera tang kaming, and tocino. Combining pork cheeks and offal, Kapampangans makes a sig. Chilled drinks and shakes The cuisine of the Tagalog people varies by province. Bulacan is popular for chic heron and steamed rice and tuber cakes like puto. 
it is a center for Peng Haimagas or desserts, like brown rice cake or kutsan ta, sapan sapan, suman, cassava cake, halaya uba and the king of sweets, in San Miguel, Bulacan, the famous Carabao milk candy pasta las de leche, with its pavalat wrapper. Cainta, in Rizal province east of Manila, is known for its Filipino rice cakes and puddings. These are usually topped with latak, a mixture of coconut milk and brown sugar, reduced to a dry crumbly texture. A more modern, and time-saving alternative to latak are coconut flakes toasted in a frying pan. Antipolo City, straddled mid-level in the mountainous regions of the Philippine Sierra Madre, is a town known for its suman and cashew products. Laguna is known for buco pie and panitsa. Batangas is home to Tall Lake, a body of water that surrounds Tall Volcano. The lake is home to 75 species of freshwater fish. Among these, the Malipido and Taulas are two not commonly found elsewhere. These fish are delicious native delicacies. Batangas is also known for its special coffee, Kapeng Barako. Baikal is noted for its gastronomic appetite for the fiery or chili hot dishes. Perhaps the most well-known Baikalano dish is the very spicy Baikal Express. The region is also the well-known home of Natong also known as Laing or Penang Gat. Brewed Beverages Bacolod City is the capital of Negros Occidental. There are a plethora of restaurants in Bacolod that serve delicious local dishes which visitors shouldn't miss when they travel in the city. It is known for a nasal which literally translates to cooked over fire. The chicken in nasal is a local version of chicken barbecue. It is cooked with red ashwit or annatto seeds giving it a reddish color and brushed with oil and cooked over the fire. The city is also famous for various delicacies such as piaya, napoleons, and pinishigbo. Aklan is synonymous with inubarang monok, chicken simmered in coconut milk, as well as binaco na monok, chicken cooked in bamboo with lemongrass. Of particular interest is tamalok which is either eaten raw or dipped in an acidic sauce such as vinegar or calamansi. There is a special prevalence of chicken and coconut milk in Okeanon cooking. Alcoholic Beverages Iloilo is home of the bachoy, derived from bachui meaning pieces of meat in Chinese. The authentic bachoy contains fresh egg noodles called miki, Buto buto broth slow cooked for hours, and beef, pork, and bulalo mixed with the local gin amos. Toppings include generous amounts of fried garlic, crushed chic heron, scallions, slices of pork intestines, and liver. Another type of pancit which is found in the said province is pancit molo, an adaptation of wonton soup and is a specialty of the town of Molo a well-known district in Iloilo. Unlike other pancit, pancit molo is not dry but soupy and it does not make use of long, thin noodles but instead wonton wrappers made from rice flour. Iloilo, is also famous for its two kadayas or pigeon pea-based soups. The first is KBL or kadayas baboy longka. As the name implies, the three main ingredients of this dish are kadios, baboy, and lanka. Another one is kmu or kadias monokubad. This dish is composed mainly of kadios, monok, and yubad. Both of these dishes utilize another ilongo ingredient as a souring agent. This ingredient is batuan or garcinia binakeo, a fruit closely related to mangosteen which is very popular in western Visayas but is generally unknown to other parts of the Philippines. Roxas City is another food destination in western Visayas aside from Iloilo City and Calabo. 
This coastal city that's about two to three hours by bus from Iloilo City prides itself as the seafood capital of the Philippines due to its bountiful rivers, estuaries, and seas. Numerous seafood dishes are served in the city's by bay area from mussels, oysters, scallops, prawns, seaweeds, clams, fishes and many more. Cebu is known for its lechon variant. Lechon prepared Cebu style is characterized by a crisp outer skin and a moist juicy meat with a unique taste given by a blend of spices. Cebu is also known for sweets like dried mangoes and caramel tarts. Eating Methods In Bohol, Kalamai is popular. In Palawan, crocodile meat is boiled, cured, and turned into tocinos. In Romblon, a specialty dish is pounded and flavored shrimp meat and rice cooked inside a banana life. In Mindanao, the southern part of Palawan Island, Sulu, and Tai Tai, dishes are richly flavored with the spices common to Southeast Asia, turmeric, coriander, lemongrass, cumin, and chilies ingredients not commonly used in the rest of Filipino cooking. Being free from European colonization, the cuisine of the indigenous Moro and Lumad peoples of Mindanao and the Sulu archipelago has much in common with the rich and spicy Malay cuisine of Malaysia and Brunei, as well as Indonesian and Thai cuisine. Well-known dishes from the region include sati and janatong manok. Certain parts of Mindanao are predominantly Muslim, where pork is rarely consumed. Rendang is an often spicy beef curry whose origins derive from the Minangkabau people of Sumatra. Biryani and Kiyoning are dishes originally from the Middle East, that were given a Mindanao in touch and served on special occasions. Piang Gang is a Tazig dish made from barbecued chicken marinated in spices, and served with coconut milk infused with toasted coconut meat. Popular crops such as cassava root, sweet potatoes, and yams are grown. Sambal, a spicy sauce made with balakan, tamarind, aromatic spices, and chilies, is a popular base of many dishes in the region. Another popular dish from this region is taiola item, a dark broth of beef or chicken lightly flavored with ginger, chili, turmeric, and toasted coconut flesh. Lamwa, is a mixture of young coconut, its juice, milk, or orange juice, with ice. Adobo is one of the most popular Filipino dishes and is considered unofficially by many as the national dish. It usually consists of pork or chicken, sometimes both, stewed or braised in a sauce usually made from vinegar, cooking oil, garlic, bay leaf, peppercorns, and soy sauce. It can also be prepared dry by cooking out the liquid and concentrating the flavor. Bistec, also known as Filipino beef steak, consists of thinly sliced beef marinated in soy sauce and calamansi and then fried in a skillet that is typically served with onions. Some well-known stews are care care and dinugwan. In care care, also known as peanut stew, oxtail, or ox tripe is the main ingredient and is cooked with vegetables in a peanut-based preparation. It is typically served with bagu. In Dinuguan, pig's blood, entrails, and meat are cooked with vinegar and seasoned with chili peppers, usually siling mahaba. Paxi refers to different vinegar-based stews that differ greatly from one another based on the type of meat used. Paxi and Aista uses fish and usually includes the addition of ginger, fish sauce, and maybe siling mahaba and vegetables. Paxi and A baboy is a paxa using pork, usually pork hocks, and often sees the addition of sugar, banana blossoms, and water so that the meat is stewed in a sweet sauce. A similar Visayan dish called humba adds fermented black beans.
Both dishes are probably related to potatim which is of Chinese origin. Paxi and a lechon is made from lechon meat and features the addition of ground liver or liver spread. This adds flavor and thickens the sauce so that it starts to caramelize around the meat by the time dish is finished cooking. Although some versions of Paxa dishes are made using the same basic ingredients as adobo, they are prepared differently, with other ingredients added and the proportions of ingredients and water being different. In crispy pata, pork knuckles are marinated in garlic-flavored vinegar then deep-fried until crisp and golden brown, with other parts of the pork leg prepared in the same way. Lechon monoc is the Filipino take on rotisserie chicken. Available in many hole-in-the-wall stands or restaurant chains, it is typically a specially seasoned chicken roasted over a charcoal flame served with sursa or lechon sauce made from mashed pork liver, starch, sugar, and spices. Mecadu, caldirda, and afritada are Spanish-influenced tomato sauce-based dishes that are somewhat similar to one another. In these dishes meat is cooked in tomato sauce, minced garlic, and onions. Mekadu gets its name from the pork fat that is inserted in a slab of beef making it look like a wick coming out of a beef candle. The larded meat is then cooked in a seasoned tomato sauce and later sliced and served with the sauce it was cooked in. Caldirta can be beef but is also associated with goat. Chunks of meat are cooked in tomato sauce, minced garlic, chopped onions, peas, carrots, bell peppers and potatoes to make a stew with some recipes calling for the addition of soy sauce, fish sauce, vinegar, chilies, ground liver, or some combination thereof. Afritada tends to be the name given to the dish when chicken and pork is used. Another similar dish said to originate from the Rizal area is Wanatoy. Pork or beef sirloin is combined with potatoes and cut sausages and cooked in a tomato-based sauce sweetened with pickles. Pukiro is derived from the Spanish casado, it is a sweeter stew that has beef and banana or plantain slices simmered in tomato sauce. Filipinos also eat tocino and longanisa. Tocino is a sweetened cured meat made with either chicken or pork and is marinated and cured for a number of days before being fried. Longanisa is a sweet or spicy sausage, typically made from pork though other meats can also be used, and are often colored red traditionally through the use of the annatto seed but also artificial food coloring. Filipino soups tend to be very hearty and stew-like containing large chunks of meat and vegetables or noodles. They are usually intended to be filling and not meant to be a light preparatory introduction for the main course. They tend to be served with the rest of the meal and eaten with rice when they are not meals unto themselves. They are often referred to on local menus under the heading Sabah. Sinigang is a popular dish in this category distinguished by its sourness that often vies with adobo for consideration as the national dish. It is typically made with either pork, beef, chicken, or seafood and made sour with tamarind or other suitable souring ingredients. Some seafood variants for example can be made sour by the use of guava fruit or miso. Another dish is tinola. It has large chicken pieces and green papaya slash sayat slices cooked with chili, spinach, and moringa leaves in a ginger-flavored broth. Nilagang baka is a beef stew made with cabbages and other vegetables. Binacol is a warm chicken soup cooked with coconut water and served with strips of coconut meat. La Paz Bachoy is a noodle soup garnished with pork innards crushed pork cracklings, chopped vegetables, and topped with a raw egg. Another dish with the same name uses mijua, beef heart, kidneys, and intestines, but does not contain eggs or vegetables. Mami is a noodle soup made from chicken, beef, pork, wonton dumplings, or intestines. Mamunde Luck was known for it. 
Another chicken noodle soup is Sotang Han, consisting of cellophane noodles, chicken, and sometimes mushrooms. Noodle dishes are generally called pancit. Pancit recipes primarily consist of noodles, vegetables, and slices of meat or shrimp with variations often distinguished by the type of noodles used. Some pancit, such as mommy and la pa styled bachoy, are noodle soups while the dry varieties are comparable to chow mein in preparation. Then there is spaghetti or ispaghetti in the local parlance that is a modified version of spaghetti bolognese. It is sometimes made with banana ketchup instead of tomato sauce, sweetened with sugar and topped with hot dog slices. There are several rice porridges that are popular in the Philippines. One is arroz caldo which is a rice porridge cooked with chicken, ginger, and sometimes saffron, garnished with spring onions, toasted garlic, and coconut milk to make a type of gruel. Another variant is goto which is an arroz caldo made with ox tripe. There is also another much different rice porridge called champarado which is sweet and flavored with chocolate and often served at breakfast paired with tuyo or daing. Another rice-based dish is arroz a la valenciana, a Spanish paella named after the Spanish region Valencia that has been incorporated into the local cuisine. Bringhi is a local rice dish with some similarities to paella but using glutinous rice, coconut milk, and turmeric. Kayampong a type of fried rice topped with pork pieces, chives, and peanuts. It can be found in Chinese restaurants in Binondo and Manila. Cameron Rebosado con Jamon has been described as a classic dish in the Binondo district of Manila, the city's Chinatown. For vegetarians, there is dinandan, a dish consisting of moringa leaves and slices of bitter melon. There is also pinakbit, stewed vegetables heavily flavored with bagu. A type of seafood salad known as kinala is made up of raw seafood such as fish or shrimp cooked only by steeping in local vinegar, sometimes with coconut milk, onions, spices, and other local ingredients. It is comparable to the Peruvian ceviche. Itlog and apula are duck eggs that have been cured in brine or a mixture of clay and salt for a few weeks, making them salty. They are later hard-boiled and dyed with red food coloring to distinguish them from chicken eggs before they are sold over the shelves. They are often served mixed in with diced tomatoes. Achara is a side dish of pickled papaya strips similar to sauerkraut. It's a frequent accompaniment to fried dishes like tapa or daing. Nata de coco is a chewy, translucent, jelly-like food product produced by the fermentation of coconut water can be served with pandesal. Kesong puti is a soft white cheese made from carabao milk. Grated mature coconut is normally served with sweet rice-based desserts. As the Philippines is a tropical country, it should come as no surprise that there are many treats made from rice and coconuts. One often seen dessert is bibingka, a hot rice cake optionally topped with a pat of butter, slices of kesong puti, itlog na marlat, and sometimes grated coconut. There are also glutinous rice sweets called biko made with sugar, butter, and coconut milk. In addition, there is a dessert known as bitsubitsu, also known as a Pinoy donut, made with fried rice flour which is then coated with muscovado sugar syrup. There is also carioca, made from glutinous rice flour, coconut, and coconut milk fried and skewered and slathered with a brown sugar glaze. Another brown rice cake is kutsan tat. Puto is another well-known example of sweet steamed rice cakes prepared in many different sizes and colors. Sapin sapin are three-layered, tri-colored sweets made with rice flour, purple yam, and coconut milk characterized by its gelatinous appearance. 
Palata are rice patties that are covered with sesame seeds, sugar, and coconut, pisti pisti which are cassava patties coated with cheese or coconut, and tibakti bak is based on carabao milk as a de leche. As a snack, binatag is created with corn kernels with shredded coconut. Packaged snacks wrapped in banana or palm leaves then steamed, suman are made from sticky rice. For cold desserts there is halo halo which can be described as a dessert made with shaved ice, milk and sugar with additional ingredients like coconut, halaya, leche flan or caramel custard, plantains, jackfruit, red beans, tapioca and pinapig being typical. Other similar treats made with shaved ice include saba con yellow which is shaved ice served with milk and minatami's na saging. Maize con yellow which is shaved ice served with steamed corn kernels, sugar, and milk, and buko pandan sweetened grated strips of coconut with gulaman, milk, and the juice or extract from pandan leaves. Sorbets is popular, as well, with some local versions utilizing coconut milk instead of cow milk. Ice candy, are popular frozen snacks usually made from fruit juice chocolate or local ingredients such as mung beans and ubet. It can be any kind of flavor depending on the maker, chocolate and buko flavored ice candy are two of the most popular. Another dessert, often served during Christmas and New Year's Eve, is mango float, a dessert composed of graham cracker, mangoes, cream and milk and created by layering them together in a dish and then refrigerating or blast chilling. Aside from pastries and desserts, there are heartier snacks for merienda that can also serve as either an appetizer or side dish for a meal. Siomai is the local version of Chinese shaomai. Lumpia are spring rolls that can be either fresh or fried. Fresh lumpia is usually made for fiestas or special occasions as it can be labor-intensive to prepare, while one version of fried lumpia, Lumpiang Shanghai is usually filled with ground pork and a combination of vegetables, and served with a sweet and sour dipping sauce. Other variations are filled with minced pork and shrimp and accompanied by a vinegar-based dipping sauce. Lumpia has been commercialized in frozen food form. There's a distinct range of street foods available in the Philippines. Some of these are skewered on sticks in the manner of a kebab. One such example is banana q which is a whole banana or plantain skewered on a short thin bamboo stick, rolled in brown sugar, and pan fried. Camote q is a peeled sweet potato skewered on a stick covered in brown sugar and then pan-fried. Fish balls or squid balls are also pan-fried, then skewered on bamboo sticks and given to the customer, who then has a choice of dipping in a sweet or savory sauce. These are commonly sold frozen in markets and peddled by street vendors. Turin a kind of lumpia consisting of an egg roll or phyllo wrapper commonly filled with sliced plantain and occasionally jackfruit, is fried and sprinkled with sugar. Tejo is a warm treat made of soft bean curd which is the tejo itself, dark caramel syrup called arnibal, and tapioca pearls. It is often sold in neighborhoods by street vendors who yell out Tejo in a manner comparative to vendors in the stands at sporting events yelling out hot dogs or peanuts. Sometimes, Tejo is served chilled, and flavors have recently been added, such as chocolate or strawberry. Tejo is derived from the original Chinese snack food known as Duhua. There is also a scramble a kind of iced-based treat similar to a sorbet. The shaved ice is combined with various flavorings and usually topped with chocolate syrup. It is eaten by scrambling the contents or mixing them, then drinking with a large straw. It was later modified into ice scramble, or simply scramble, but with added skim milk, chocolate, or strawberry syrup.
and a choice of toppings such as marshmallows, chocolate or candy sprinkles, rice krispies, or tapioca pearls. Street food featuring eggs include quek quek which are hard-boiled quail eggs dipped in orange dyed batter and then deep fried similar to tempura. Tananang is a larger version of quek quek using chicken or duck eggs. Another Filipino egg snack is ballot, essentially a boiled prehatched poultry egg, usually duck or chicken. These fertilized eggs are allowed to develop until the embryo reaches a predetermined size and are then boiled. There is also another egg item called penoe, which is basically hard boiled unfertilized duck eggs that does not contain embryo. Like Teho, Ballot is advertised by street hawkers calling out their product. Okoy, also spelled as yukoy, is another batter covered, deep fried street food in the Philippines. Along with the batter, it normally includes bean sprouts, shredded pumpkin, and very small shrimps, shells, and all. It is commonly dipped in a combination of vinegar and chili. Among other street food are already mentioned pulutan like isa, seasoned hog, or chicken intestines skewered onto a stick and grilled, betamax, roasted dried chicken blood cut into and served as small cubes, from which it received its name due to its crude resemblance to a betamax tape, adidas, grilled chicken feet named after the popular shoe brand, and proven the proventriculus of a chicken coated in cornstarch and deep fried. Fries made from sweet potatoes have also been dubbed Pinoy fries. Some exotic dishes in the Filipino diet are Camaro, which are field crickets cooked in soy sauce, salt and vinegar, and is popular in Pampanga, Papatan, which is a stew made of goat or beef innards flavored with bile that gives it its characteristic bitter taste, soup number 5 which is a soup made out of bull s testes, and can be found in restaurants in Ongpan St, Binondo, Manila, and Pinik Pican Na Monoc that involves having a chicken beaten to death to tenderize the meat and to infuse it with blood. It is then burned in fire to remove its feathers then boiled with salt and a tog. The act of beating the chicken in preparation of the dish violates the Philippine Animal Welfare Act of 1998. The Filipino slash Tagalog words for popular cooking methods and terms are listed below. Philippine cuisine has a variety of native ingredients used. The biota that developed yielded a particular landscape and in turn gave the place local ingredients that enhanced flavors to the dishes. Calamansi is the more known of those ingredients, it is a fruit that belongs to the genus Citrus. It is mostly used due to the sourness it gives to a dish. Another is the Taban Taban a tropical fruit which were used by pre-colonial Filipinos as antibacterial ingredient especially in quinoa dishes. The country also cultivates different type of nuts and one of them is the pilai nut, which the Philippines is the only known edible exporter of. It is usually made as a merienda or is incorporated in other desserts to enhance the flavor due to the milky texture it gives off as it melts in the mouth. Tol tol, a type of rock salt is another ingredient made only in Gomorrahs who most use it to sprinkle on cooked rice to serve as a viand. The salt is an assortment of reeds, twigs, and small pieces of bamboo carried to the shore by the sea tide where they have been soaked in sea water for some time and is then burned in large quantities while continually being doused with salt water on a daily basis. The ashes then is strained continuously by kings and are then cooked in pans. In Visayas, another souring agent in dishes in the form of batuan is used. It is a fruit that is greenish, yellowish, somewhat rounded, and 4 cm or more in diameter. They have a firm outer covering and contain a very acid pulp and several seeds. Chilled drinks are popular due to the tropical climate. 
Stands selling cold fruit drinks and fruit shakes are common in many of the city areas, where some are based on green mandarin orange, pomelo, pineapple, banana, and soursop. The shakes usually contain crushed ice, evaporated or condensed milk, and fruits like the perennially popular mango. Other fruit flavors are melon, papaya, avocado, watermelon, strawberry, and durian to name a few. Other chilled drinks include sago tea gulaman, a flavored ice drink of pre-Hispanic Malay origin with sago and agar gelatin with banana extracts sometimes added to the accompanying syrup, fresh buco or coconut juice, the water, or juice straight out of a young coconut via an inserted straw a less fresh variation of which is from bottled coconut juice, scraped coconut flesh, sugar, and water, and calamansi juice, the juice of calamansi or Philippine limes usually sweetened with honey, syrup, or sugar. The Philippines is a predominantly coffee-drinking country. One of the most popular variants of coffee coming from the mountains of Batangas is known as Kapang Barako. Another well-known variant of coffee is the civet coffee. It is called Kapimodi in the Cordilleras, Kapi Alamit in Tagalog region, and Kapi Musang in Mindanao. The Kalinga coffee known for its organic production is also rapidly gaining popularity. Highlands coffee, or Benguet coffee, is a blend of Robusta and Excelsa beans. Even before the establishment of coffee houses in the Philippines, coffee has been part of the Filipino meal. Carinderias would often serve them along with meals. The opening of Starbucks in 1997 paved the way for other coffee shops. Tea consumption in the Philippines is driven primarily by growing health consciousness amongst middle to high income consumers. Tea is commonly prepared using Philippine wild tea or tea tree. There are several known variations of tea using different additives. Pandan iced tea is one of these, made with pandan leaves and lemongrass. Salabat, sometimes called ginger tea, is brewed from ginger root and usually served during the cold months, and when illnesses such as a sore throat strikes. Late 2010 saw the opening of tea shops around the metro, and with a glass of milk tea being more affordable than the usual cold designer coffee, it paved the way into making tea a food trend. Among the top players in the Philippine tea scene are Share Tea, Happy Lemon, Shatime, Seren Idea and Moon Leaf Tea Shop. Tsukolati is the Filipino take on hot chocolate. It is traditionally made with tabli, which are pure cacao beans that are dried, roasted, ground and then formed into tablets. There are a wide variety of alcoholic drinks in the Philippines manufactured by local breweries and distilleries. Beer or cerveza is the most preferred alcoholic drink in the Philippines. San Miguel Pale Pilsen is the most popular and most widely known brand, with beer and a beer coming in a close second. San Mig Light is preferred mostly by yuppies and young drinkers. Gold Eagle Beer is more common in the rural areas of the Philippines. Cold 45 and Red Horse Beer, with their higher alcohol content, are brands favored by hard drinkers. Other beer labels include Lone Star, Lone Star Light, Lone Star Ultra, Carlsberg, Coors Light, San Miguel Super Dry, San Mig Strong Ice, and just recently, Manila Beer. Several bars in the urban areas also serve international brands. Rum is often associated with Tanjuai. Several gins both local varieties like Ginebra San Miguel and imported brands like Gilby's, are commonly found. Some people refer to gin by the shape of the bottle, 
bilog for a circular bottle and quattro cantos for a square or rectangular bottle. Gin is sometimes combined with other ingredients to come up with variations. Tuba is a type of hard liquor made from fresh drippings extracted from a cut young stem of palm. The cutting of the palm stem usually done early in the morning by a manange, a person who climbs palm trees and extracts the tuba to supply to customers later in the day. The morning's accumulated palm juice or drippings are then harvested by noon, and brought to buyers then prepared for consumption. Sometimes this is done twice a day so that there are two harvests of tuba occurring first at noontime and then in the late afternoon. Normally, tuba has to be consumed right after the manange brings it over, or it becomes too sour to be consumed as a drink. Any remaining unconsumed tuba is then often stored in jars to ferment for several days and become palm vinegar. Tuba can be distilled to produce lambanog, a neutral liquor often noted for its relatively high alcohol content. Lambanog is an alcoholic beverage commonly described as coconut wine or coconut vodka. The drink is distilled from the sap of the unopened coconut flour, and is known for its potency and high alcohol content. Most of the Lambanog distilleries are in the Quezon province of Luzon, Philippines. Constant efforts at standardizing Lambanog production has led to its better quality. Presently, Lambanog is being exported to other countries and continues to win foreign customers over due to its natural ingredients as well as its potency. Tapui is a traditional Philippine alcoholic drink made from fermented glutinous rice. It is a clear wine of luxurious alcoholic taste, moderate sweetness, and lingering finish. Its average alcohol content is 14% or 28 proof, and it does not contain any preservatives or sugar. To increase the awareness of Tapui, the Philippine Rice Research Institute has created a cookbook containing recipes and cocktails from famous Philippine chefs and bartenders, featuring tapui as one of the ingredients. During the Spanish occupation, which yielded Western influences, Filipinos ate with the paired utensils of spoon and fork. The knife was not used as in other countries, because Spain prohibited them to have knife. Filipinos use the side of the spoon, to cut the food. Nowadays, the use of hands during eating, known as kamayan, has become a trend. Kamayan generally means eating with your hands, which was how Filipinos ate before the colonization of the country. It is further becoming more popular due to the incorporation of the boodle fight concept, a style of dining popularized by the Philippine Army, which utilizes banana leaves spread out on the table as the main serving platter, upon which is laid out portions of rice and a variety of Filipino viand for brotherly, friendly, filial, or communal feasting. The use of spoons and forks, however, is still the norm.